Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV, Realm Reborn. What? Me, Tiber. There he goes, there's the flashlight guy! Oh, flashlight guy? Flashlight yeah, guy. see, there flashlight he is, guy. there he is! No, flash, flashlight, he's got strobe, see, look, quick, hit your, hit your boost! I'm examining, hit your boost to catch up! Look at this armor, it's so cool, it's got like strobes and stuff on it! What's his, quick, what's his name? He's posing. His name is Iron Eater. Uh, uh Devik Lubron. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not as cool. <laughs> Run away! Curiosity sated. Mm -hmm. Bye, Space! I'm gonna get the next quest! <laughs> yep, that's fine. You can do it. I know we have to get it both. What the? I could barely even see this person! They blended in perfectly with the street! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Welcome back, Veronic. I just heard the report. You know why you're behind this desk? It's because you can't be trusted to be on the battlefield. You needn't be concerned about the engineers. They completed their return trip without further Imperial interference. I must admit, I had my doubts at first, but it seems the stories about you are true. I look forward to seeing what you two are capable of, after you're probably properly inducted into the Maelstrom, of course. Now, speaking of your induction... Let's see, crap, crap... Crap. Crap. Yeah, I'll take the money. Dun, 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 dun. I looked at them earlier, I was just like, nah, I don't know, ah, Green cat! So should we do more, or? I don't know. But yes! I know, I was... We're, we're not finished, we have to do it. I was wondering, I was wondering yeah. if it was in the main story or not. Yes, you can tell it's the main story because it's got fire around the icon. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how you know it's a main story quest. Cutscene. I better not have to wear the uniform. Actually, no. Give me the uniform quickly. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, what? Timer? Well, you sure? Let's just start afresh, shall we? Music. Salute. Oh. You are welcome here, Shahrazad Baranek and sister Saifia Boreas. That such a well-respected pair of adventurers would choose to join our ranks is most heartening. Before you swear allegiance to us, however, it is only right that I tell you exactly what it is that you will be joining. Never surrender. A grand company is more than simply a collection of soldiers. It is an all-encompassing organization which draws upon the resources of an entire city-state to form a united military force capable of standing against a nation's deadliest enemies. So basically, it's the army! Mm-hmm. Essentially. Yep. We of the Maelstrom are charged with meeting threats posed by the Primals and the Garlean Empire, and solving the many problems caused by the Calamity. Every man and woman who serves under our colors has a role to play in keeping the great warship that is Limsa Lominsa afloat, and on whatever heading Chief Admiral Merlwib Blaufsisven sees fit to set. As part of this grand vessel's crew, you will be expected to take your turn at the oars, for the winds do not look favorable, lass, and the strength of arm may be all that sees a safe to port. If I've lost you with talk of ship and all, let me put it another way. A maelstrom soldier labors till her last breath, fights till her last drop of blood. We give all our we give our all in service to this nation, and no less is expected of you. I'm just kinda of looking off into the side. <laughs> Baranic and Boreas, sisters bore. It is customary for new recruits to swear an oath of their own choosing upon the entering the Maelstrom's rank. Is there aught you'd like to say? You have my sword till sea swallows all. What skills I have are yours till sea swallows all. I will follow the Admiral to the very bottom of the abyss. Yeah, I'm going to go over that. That's the best one. Fist clench. It makes sense to me. As would we all. A capable crew is one thing, but unswerving loyalty is a trait that cannot be trained up on. Well said, lass. Plus, she's paying me. Get out of this armor. Oh, bye. 
Shahers and Baranic, Scythia Boreas, I hereby assign you the ranks of Storm Private Third Class. You are now officially a soldier of the Maelstrom. Welcome aboard, Private. May you serve limbs and lumen so well till sea swallows all. Now, I believe that now that we're part of a grand company, the quests we do may or may not be related to the main storyline, so this might be another thing we can just do. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please give me a better suit of armor. Space. Can you hear me? Yeah, I was about to say. Can you hear me, sisters? This is Minfilia. I only just got it. An officer of the Mealsham conduct the ah contact me with the news of your last loan. My congratulations, sisters. I have no doubt that you are eager to make your acquaintance with the new comrades, but I would ask that you pay a visit to the old your old ones first. Remember, though you are now women of the storm, you are no less the, uh, of a sky a scion. Pray return to the waking sands at your earliest convenience. Even. Uh, there missions? are some. Yeah, I was. Nah, really. There are some friends here whom I would very much like you to meet. We shall be waiting. It's going to be the L sisters, not sisters. Um, <laughs> look, they both look like girls. Okay. Either that, or they both look like young guys. Huh. Oh, hey, cool. We can make stuff. We can make stuff? What? Yeah, like, yeah, like we can make stuff to give them. And get, like, experience and stuff for oh, the really? uh, the grant company. Yeah. Like, how do you do that? Uh, you talk to the dude, and you go, like, delivery missions. Oh, man, this sucks! I just made, like, a shit ton of jack-o'-lanterns, too! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Darn it. I just sold them all. Oh, wait, there's a quest here. Storm commanders? Wait, oh, oh, space! This is it! This is it! My little chocobo! <gasps> my little chocobo! My no! Little chocobo. Bad! Well, if it isn't the, si the Boreas sisters, I must say that their tales of your deeds have been ins inspiration. Is she a cat or a snake? The troops. <laughs> I don't know why I'm failing. Why, why are you hissing with her? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm just mildly failing. Our duties take us far and wide, and I'll wager you've slogged across quite a few mounds of countryside on not but your own two feet. Such sterling, such a sterling soldier of the Milstrom deserves her own steed. Let us see about uh, having one issued to you. All you need to do is obtain a Storm Chocobo insurance by exchanging the company seals with the Quartermaster. Once you have this deed presented to the Far Gem, and she will see you saddled up with your own trusty birds. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where, where, where? This one? No, it's not this one. What are you doing? Bard! 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 Look, Let's get look, I, I just got the... Look. Let's get Bard. Birds. Look, bard. now all I, I just need to get three signatures and then we can be derps. Bard! Wait, what? Three signatures? How you get... What? This is the person where you make your free company. So then you have to get oh. three people to sign it and join it. So I just made Derpaconia and uh, with the derp tag. Which uh, I should really find uh, insulting, but I just don't care anymore. Yeah. Yeah, same. But, um, I mean, I can always I guess, nullify right it. On me and invite, I guess? View trade company profile. There we go. Uh, I can't submit an application. Ah, there. Excellent. Yes. So now you're going to run around uh, randomly inviting everyone not, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll do that. All right. Then we'll um, <laughs> now, we have to get a Storm Chocobo issuance. I believe we get that from the Quartermaster. Uh, no, we're to talk to Fajem. Fajem? Yeah. No. 
My Little Chocobo present a Storm Chocobo issuance to Fragelm, so we have to get a Storm Chocobo issuance. Oh. oh. Where did we get out? From this guy, from the, from the Quartermaster, I believe. In order to do that, we have to do a certain number of missions. Oh, um, here we go. Yeah, so we need, so we need 200, um, we need seals. 200 seals. Yes. And the best uh, way to get so seals is by talking to this personnel officer. Oh. See, now, if I had those three like jack- provisioning missions. Oh. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to make some, uh, some more jack lanterns. And a couple of the, uh, let's see, what is it? I'm proficient with this So, make an amateur's hatchet. Do I, do I have cotton horn clubs? Okay, brass ring, bronze, uh, brass ring, and I shoot slops. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna make another amateur's hatchet. What do I need for that? Let's see, that is spitting. It's 10. Amateur's hatchet. I can make that. So I'm going to make two of those right now. I'm going to give one to you. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. Uh, should I make two sets of brass rings then? Yeah, sure. Or more? Copper rings. Oh, right. I have to actually change to a black. Uh, crafting, everybody! <laughs> what? Look, it's for a good cause. Everybody wants to see us ride on our majestic and badass chocobos. Yep. I, w I don't know why I was about to try and make them, like, high quality. Because you have pride in your work? That one's glowing, too! Why are you glowing? Ooh! Dark side! Oh. Dark I bet that's side? it. I bet it's dark side. They've got a, a thing oh. called damage dealt is increased while MP, MP is slowly drained. You do the thing yet? I know, yeah, I'm almost made them. Come on, I made two hatchets. Why aren't you just quick making them? I don't know. Just. Eh. There you go. Thank you. Uh, undertake supply provisioning. Uh, wait a minute, where's hatchet? Oh, they're different from the different people, I think. Oh. Oh no, wait. Oh, the bronze, the brass ring wasn't right. Damn it. Well, the brass, brass wristlets. Ah. Uh, it's brass rings, not ring. How many did you know. to make? Oh, a box of brass ring, brass rings. Yeah, that's why I ended up making. Uh, I don't have weights though. You got to be kidding me, really. Oh. Oh. Have you got ragstone by any chance? <sighs> I just make you an iron spear. Uh, one minute. I'll tell you what there is for me. Uh maple cane. Amateurs are. Uh, bronze umbilic, bronze ring, hard leather, uh, pots, initiate slops, amateur grimoire, and grilled trout. Initiate slops, I guess. Oh, just, just give me a minute here to make a, make an all for you. Took longer to get out of the menu than it did to make the damn thing. Ah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Have your stinking rings back. Oh. I don't want them. I'm taking up inventory space. Uh, there. Have a, have a, have an all. Yeah. Oh, I leveled up. <laughs> oh, I leveled up blacksmith with that. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, under what do you get it? 
That's uh, Thunder Material. Is it? Material. Not materials, material. Uh, Alright, all right. Now, we, now we have to go see Freyum. Uh, I need fuck more. <coughs> it's just 200. Yeah, I only got 31 from that. 31? Yep. What? Okay, space. It, like, it, it says how many seals you get there. Initiate slops will give me 154... Uh, brush ring will give me 120, uh, 154. Uh, uh. Need brass rings. Ring. Uh, and uh, I uh, initiate slops. There we go. Uh, beast in you. Have you got beast in you? Well, you what do, what do you need me to make? Uh, initiate slops. I Under. Uh, Weaver. If you've got beasts in you, it'd be so much easier. Do, 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 do. Wait, you can make it? Oh, fair enough. Yeah. That's such a nice top. What level are you? What level am I? I'm level 21. Oh. Interesting. I'm, yeah, I made the top. Huh. Look, you even got a little flower on your weaver thingy. Ah! Mm -hmm. Tall person! <laughs> <laughs> so did you get it? Or? Ah, there. Uh, it slops? There we are. Sorry about the time this is taking people. I doubt they care. Eh, we probably like three people watching, honestly. Yeah, pretty much. I'm still saying sorry to you guys. <clears throat> okay, now we have to figure out where to go with it. Oh, that's easy. Yeah? Where's that? I click on the map. Oh, on the thing, then you can find it. Ah, uh, guess what? What? <laughs> it needs another 50. God damn it, Space <laughs> Do you math? Oh, Do you math, Monkey Man? Look, that was the closest, the biggest number that I could have gotten. Wow, you got shat on. Yes, the I smallest, did. The smallest number I had was 85 with an amateur skillet. The smallest number I have is eight. <laughs> the largest number I have is 154. <sighs> ah. Don't make me slap you. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> oh, maple cane, so I what, guess. What else do you need? Do you need a maple cane? Can you make that yourself? Or? I'm going to have a look and see... What's that under? That's under uh, alchemy, isn't it? No, I, d I don't have the ability to make a maple gain. It's under carpentry. I can make it, but I don't have growth formula alpha. Or the maple. Mm -hmm. Do I have maple itself? Yes, I have maple itself. Yeah, do, 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 do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I have a full inventory just about at every given time. Oh, I didn't expect to need to use it on screen. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh. at least they're getting witty dialogue. Is it? Is it really witty? <laughs> is it not? Oh. They can't prove know. otherwise. You can't disprove it, for there is no empirical way of measuring it. Yep. You can't. For having things so dear. Let me just buy this. Thank you. Now just watch. It's the wrong fucking thing. Uh, Storm Chocobo uh, issuance. Wow, this person is shiny. Look at this. They got magic arm shoulders. Things. Yep. Go to the etheric plaza, basically. Yeah. <laughs>
MySpace! Wait, were you already there? Yep. Oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bugger! I'm gonna be the first to get my bird! I want my bird. I want my bird. Want a bird issued, you say? Then I'll see your Storm Chocobo issuance. There you go. Yay! Now we have mounts! Yay! Mm -hmm. I love how you gave her a manly voice. Oh, uh, it's a girl? Uh, it's hard to tell with those masks. <laughs> it really isn't! Yes, everything appears to be in order. A moment, please. I'll be right back with the chocobo. Bow. Ooh. And here he is! The fellow has been in high spirits for the past few bills. He must have sensed that his master was coming. Oh my? <laughs> now then, to make it official, you want to give your noble steed a name. Oh god, um... <laughs> now, I originally called my chocobo Boko on my main character, because Boko is the traditional name for the, uh... What? What? Do I not need to get, get to give him the name? There we go. It's the traditional name of your first chocobo. <laughs> I'm trying to think of Hold what on, to name hold on. Um... I need to do a quick Google search. Sorry, I've kind of alt tabbed people just by the way as I think of names or look up a name. Honestly, to be completely honest. Uh... Hmm. 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 I thought Shahrazad was like a warrior. I thought the legend of I thought Shahrazad was like a legendary woman warrior. I've never heard of that before, honestly. Oh. Uh. Well, according to Wikipedia, Shahrazad is a legendary queen and the storyteller of One Thousand and One Nights. Hmm. Written by Sir Richard Burton, who translated it. Let's see. <gasps> Durr, I don't know why I never thought of that. What? A reference to Far Escape. Oh, okay. You know what I went with? What? Have a guess. A reference to Far Escape. Eighteen twelve? No, it's a bird. I don't remember birds in Farscape. Remember a part of a bird. Chicken wing? No, it starts with a T. Tail feather? Talon. Aha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha! We're going with Fenrir. Fenrir? Fenrir, yes. Quack. That sounds familiar. What's Fenrir? Fenrir is a legendary wolf of Norse, myth of Norse mythology. Oh, right, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I remember. Uh, yes. <laughs> I dare say he likes his name. Here's a very own chocobo whistle. Simply blow into it, and your feathered friend will come bounding to your side. But do forgive him if he boy. doesn't respond when summoned in crowded city areas. Look, she's butch! <laughs> or monster-infested players. <laughs> Chocobos are stout-headed creatures, but they have their limits. And lastly, I present you with your chocobo rider's license, as is required by the law. And that concludes all of the formalities. I wish you and your chocobo long years of fulfilling companionship. Use it. Um, nom, nom, nom. You know what I should do? I should find people who are not aligned with a guild, right, or a free company, and ask them if they get annoyed by free company invites. 
<laughs> it's brilliant. And then invite them to the free company using that as an excuse or a reason. Just to get the company started, basically. Yep. Hey, it works. Not that we really know anything. We'd probably be better off joining one of the major ones in terms of a thing, but... Melt Roulette! Whoa. Ugh. <laughs> what? Just, hmm. Uh, how do you... To you too. You strange thing. Uh, how do we summon it? Uh, first you have to use the chocobo whistle in your inventory. Uh, oh, right, there it is. And then you go to powers. Uh, uh, there's another way of doing that. Uh, general? By going to character, and then you can go mount guide. And then you can oh, okay. Go. Well, if you'll excuse me. <sighs> <laughs> what? It's a behemoth. Okay. Alright, uh, um, let's see. We have to go to the Sounds of the Seventh Dawn back in Back by Horizon. I like the kind of wing guards that's on it. You can change them too. Mm -hmm. uh, now I don't let's know see. How, we, we should technically be going there, but I have a theory. So, first, we are going to go to. Uh, as, where was that? Uh, the oh, I like that. Central Shroud. Oh, I actually like that. When you what? don't move, right? Uh -huh. The music goes all quiet, but when you move, it starts to fade back. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. I'm happy with that. <laughs> we finally got our birds! Now let's see if we can make them fight. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> <laughs> Now, I thought it was a quest up here, but I guess not yet. We don't want to get to do that. Hmm. Yeah, so eventually, Space... Where are you? Eventually, we'll come over here and we'll have a quest to uh, talk to this person under here. And uh, this Lucalot person will teach us to uh, use our chocobos in combat. I'm not sure what the trigger for it is. It might be level 25. It might be level 30. I don't know. Probably level 30. But it'll happen okay. after some jerk over here tries to give us thing. So now we have to head back to Western Thunderland. Western Thunderland. 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 Western Thunderland. No. Oh. So, Tyber, why aren't you changing you back into your main class? Because I'm enjoying some casual time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's very relaxing. It's peaceful. I would say my, you know, combat outfit is kind of relaxing. Space, your combat outfit is a dress. <laughs> exactly. It's fine. <laughs> What? what, 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 what? Oh. <laughs> it's the fat chocobo! <laughs> it's that one. <laughs> oh, it's that one. <laughs> you know it's what? even got special music. I probably slow down to let the audience see. There you go. No, 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 just keep going. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> is that a chick, or is that meant to be a fully grown one? It's a fat chocobo! So, that's fully grown. Huh? It's, it's just really no, fat! He's got feathers on his wings! He does! He does! He's, his yeah, wings he... are actually the same size as yours. Yeah, but he's not got feathers on them. They do! He does! He's just so fat that you can't tell! The wings are literally the same vague. size as yours. I see vague feathers on it, I guess. Mm -hmm. but like I said, he's just so... At all. It's a fat chocobo! Look at his <laughs> face! <laughs> it's so bloody happy looking. Oh. By the way, that's a gifful green on a before stick. I get diabetes looking at it. <laughs> that's 
so mean to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye, beaters. Oh, God, it makes such a loud noise as well. <laughs> it makes a boing. Boing. Hey, <laughs> 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 uh, Wait, what? <laughs> Welcome back, sisters! Lady Minvilio awaits you within! Complete! Dun 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 dun! Base. Welcome back. It seems you have wasted no time in putting your skills to work. How do, how do I know? Why? The recruitment officer called me to regale me with the tale of your heroics. The pride of his voice was palpable. We Scions are from uh, truly fortunate to have you with us. Yes, yes you are. Now, when we last spoke, I said that I wanted you to meet some friends. Did I not? Well, I neglected to mention that you've already met them. Tartaru, will you please show them in? This way, sirs! Something tells me they're very tall. Oh. Oh, oh, hi. Those ones. Hey, guys. Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. I owe you our lives. How did you get all the way over here so quickly? Well, we went running around doing the mount thing, and they had an airship. Okay. But I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Biggs. And I'm... I'm... God, man! Spit it out, will ya? Oh, why aren't you at your service? I'm pleased to say that Biggs and Wedge will be staying with us for a while. Magitech-driven contraptions such as airships uh, grow ever more vital to the city-states of Eorzea. As a natural party, it will... Neutral. As a neutral party, it will be judged that the uh, Scions would, uh, should serve as the keepers of this technology. Of course, uh, all for this, we need knowledge of our experts. So... We have requested the assistance of the Galoridian iron workers, who have uh, kindly sent us two of their finest engineers. Our happy family continues to grow. On behalf of the Scions, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. I love how only the two forest people clapped. Rubble, 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 rubble. But I count myself blessed to have uh, been given this chance to stand with you all and fight for the future of our realm. Never have I had such fulfillment, such happiness. Yeah, not since your grandfather died. Mm -hmm. Quest complete. Da, 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 da. Well, I think I'll, uh... I think I'll put on my thaumaturg outfit now. You no, know what? That's, that's you terrible. Know what? Don't, don't approach her yet, because that's the end of the episode. I just oh. noticed, because we're at 33. Well then. Uh, so, I suppose we'll I should say. Good night, everybody. Until next time, all the best, and we hope you enjoyed. <laughs>